Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to change the background and grid colors of our 3ds Max interface. We're going to start by selecting the perspective view. We can see that the background is a gradient. It is possible to change this to a solid color by selecting the views menu, then go to viewport background and select solid color. We can use this option to change any of our selected views between solid and gradient backgrounds. To change the color of the background, we need to go to the Customize menu, then select the Customize User Interface. In the new window, select the Color tab. We need to make sure Viewport is enabled in the Element section. After this, scroll down and select the Viewport Background option. Then click on the color swatch to modify the color to your liking. We can use any color, but I also recommend keeping a note of the RGB colors so you can quickly get back to the default color. After you're done, click the Apply Colors Now button. It's important to notice that the Reset button is going to reset the color to the last applied color and not the original color. We can follow the same steps to change the color of the gradient by selecting the viewport gradient background top or bottom options and then selecting the colors we like. We can also change the grid lines color. To do this, in the element section, select grids. We have two options. With the first one set by color, we can specify the color of the lines. And then we can use set by intensity to reduce or increase the intensity of the color. After we have finished with the adjustments, we can save this color scheme by clicking the Save button. Then give it a different name, for example, Dark Background. This is not necessary, but it's helpful in case we need to reset the 3ds Max interface. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.